And in today's video, guys, we're gonna be utilizing Quick Boost Early Access. And this is a super handy tool which can fully optimize your PC, no matter if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, it works for both of them. And you can find the link to it on my official website, guys. Just simply go under the FPS Boost category, then just simply scroll down until you can find a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail, which is going to redirect you then in order to get it from Major Geeks, guys. Huge, huge shout out to them. And as we can see now already in the tool, we have a few options. We have General, Advanced, Cleanup, Downloads, and Windows. And under General, we already have some of the the most important tweaks everyone should do on their Windows PC, especially after each and every single Windows update. We have enable exclusive full screen and disable Xbox game bar. Super important, click onto it and you can already see it's been adjusted. Then we have disable startup telemetry, which is basically just collecting additional data on your PC, which we don't really have to worry about, so therefore we fully disable it. Then as well, disable mouse acceleration, guys. Mouse acceleration is basically gonna speed up your mouse cursor speed while moving it around and it makes it super unprecise while gaming, so therefore we fully disable. It. Then we have of course here as well disable power savings mode, we're going to click onto it and then for the rest we also have here disable unnecessary system services, click onto it guys and you can see everything has been disabled from our PC. The next up we also have remove pre-installed applications, click onto it once guys and you can see here now everything is getting disabled which we don't need on our PC. So print out applications are fully removed now. This is especially if you have like some of these like games, you know, and all that stuff, which is on your PC out of nowhere every time you install your Windows. And then as an additional step, we're also going to click on the disable startup programs manual, guys. And in here now we can select what we actually want to have on our PC every single time we launch it. You can see something like Steam I disabled, Spotify disabled, my RGB controller I kind of need, my Logitech LG hub I also kind of need, GoXR application, my Epic Games, my camera hub for my Elgato, and then for the rest I disabled anything else guys. Super easy, just go through it real quick, it only takes a few seconds and then we're gonna continue now under advanced. And once we're now here in advanced guys, you can already see here disable power throttling. Super super important, this is basically holding your PC back also like sort of like a power savings mode so therefore make sure that it is disabled then we're also going to click onto memory tweaks real quick and apply it here to our PC just making sure that our RAM is running at the highest possible Hertz amount and we're also going to click on the hardware data queue size and this is basically the registry tweak which I already showed on my channel guys where you can make your mouse and keyboard more responsive so make sure this one is applied as well and then we're gonna move over now to storage there we have now a bunch of cleaning options clean temporary files clean all log files run windows clean manager and clear all temporary files so therefore you can click through it step by step and make sure everything is cleaned up it's only gonna take a few seconds guys and it's really well made in this tool and then finally we're also going to click now under windows and they can see now additional features like show hidden folders this is super important if you're trying to actually clean all the temporary data on your pc then windows settings and options something like disable notifications super easy disable clipboard history fully disabled and disable transparency effect which doesn't look of course as cool as normally but a it gives you additional performance boost so therefore make sure that this one is actually disabled and if you're on windows 11 you can also change a bunch of options here guys that's super cool i mean a it's all built into this one tool guys so definitely huge, huge shout out to the creator of this guys quick boost early access amazing tool and once we're now done with it we can basically restart our pc you don't have to let it run anymore on your pc you can basically get fully rid of it and with that said we're already done here